Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. How would you react if you heard extraterrestrial life discovered on another planet? What role would faith play in your reaction? Vanderbilt astronomer David Weintraub explores that question. Since biblical times, man has witnessed and recorded strange manifestations in the sky and speculated on the possibilities of visitors from another world. Aliens, extraterrestrials, UFOs from other planets. We have come to visit you in peace and with goodwill. They're the heart of science fiction. E.T. Phone Home. The topic of Planet Around Other Stars was science fiction. It was speculation. It's something you talked about with a bottle of wine, not with a telescope. Now as thousands of planets are being discovered, Vanderbilt astronomer David Weintraub asks, where does faith fit in? Most of us think that our God is a universal God. Does our God, this universal God, make sense in other parts of the universe? That's the question that got me started. In a new book, Weintraub looks at Earth's most popular religions. If those holy scriptures recognize the possibility of life somewhere else, did they say anything about our relationship to those beings, about the relationship of the religious practices down here on Earth to those other beings? And how religions would deal with the possibility of life on other planets. Knowing the answer to that question, I think, is very profound for us in thinking about ourselves and how we fit in the universe. That's, it's a religious question. For Muslims? Within Islam, there's a strong belief that life beyond the Earth does exist. But there are challenges. If you're required to pray five times a day facing Mecca, you've got to figure out where Mecca is. And if you're 100 million light years away, that might be tough to do. For Buddhists and Hindus... Reincarnation is something that could happen anywhere in the universe. According to Jewish scriptures... What matters is the way we conduct our lives here on Earth. For Christians, opinions are mixed. Some Christian denominations strongly accept the idea of original sin, in which case they have to deal with this theological issue of whether we on Earth are the only sinful creatures in the universe. And if we're not, how did those other creatures become sinful if they didn't inherit the original sin from Adam and Eve? Some Protestant denominations are willing to explore the idea of life beyond Earth, but not others. Most evangelicals would accept the idea that we are the only place in the universe that life exists, that God's attention is solely focused on us. Ultimately, Weintraub says faith leaders should think about the future. What does sin mean in the larger sense of the universe as a whole? Here and in space. The universe was around for 10 billion years before the Earth appeared. To see where faith fits in. There's no reason to think we're alone. The universe is a big place. Now that we have you thinking about space, here's some fascinating research about our own planet. Vanderbilt geologists find early Earth may not have been as hellish as first thought. Geology professor Calvin Miller says new evidence hidden in crystals from Iceland finds conditions on Earth 500 million years ago may have been surprisingly similar to the present day complete with oceans, continents, and active crustal plates. It was originally thought early Earth was covered in burning magma and bombarded by asteroids. Read all the fascinating whys to this new theory on our research site. Quick View Sports. Congrats to Darius Sims, named SEC Special Teams Player of the Week for returning two kickoffs for touchdowns in the game against South Carolina. And our Golden Boys of Summer are still basking in their national championship win. The baseball team received their championship rings during halftime at the Vandy South Carolina game. And they showed off their rings on Vandy Graham too. Before that game started, our first year students did the anchor dash to get Vandy's first SEC home game off to a good start. Don't forget to hashtag your Vandy pride. Hashtag VandyGram. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.